Hey, this is Soldier7 here reporting for Right Wing Federation, and this video is going to be about the Arizona, and it's also the first video of the year, so, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this video is going to be about uh, Arizona. As you know, I've been doing videos about Arizona recently regarding the uh, aftermath of the 2022 elections in the U.S. So yes, and Arizona is a, something I've been keeping an eye on in regarding to that. And I've been doing some videos on it recently, even though the last one I did, I think it was a couple weeks ago. I know things have occurred since then, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit now. Now, since my uh, previous video on Arizona, um, Carrie Lake, you know, with her challenges and everything, she did take it to court. Um, she got a legal team and she did take it to court with her challenge and whatnot. And then, um, of course, Katie Hobbs, I mean, she got, her, she got her people, she got her legal team and whatnot. And there was a lot of back and forth and, um, apparently from what I understand, from looking at the from looking at parts of the, of the hearings um, it turns out that uh, certain things were said such as it turns out that someone who claimed that the uh, 19 ballot thing what wasn't true eventually admitted that yes there there was you know a 19 there was an issue involving 19 inch ballots so yes, someone eventually admitted to that. And then you also have um, someone on Katie Hobbs' side trying to make the claim that Carrie Lake told people to only go vote on election day when that is not true. Even if, let's say, Carrie Lake preferred people voted on election day, but she did not say just only vote on election day because as you know, there is a video um, that's dated before the that took place before the election, where Kate, where Carrie Lake did say, um, "Yes, uh, vote, vote if you have to, if you got to vote in ballot or whatnot." She and this and this was before the election, so there's that. Now, yes, technically, technically, not everything swung in Carrie Lake's favor. But yes, yeah, she was able to um, make her case in court, and that and that brings to the title of this video. As in Arizona, the things are heating up with the Supreme Court, as you know, as the title says, Arizona heating up with Supreme Court. Now, with everything done for, um, especially at, even after Katie Hobbs tried to request a, a lawsuit against Carrie Lake, Katie Hobbs wanted to sue. Carrie Lake's Carrie Lake for legal fees, which was in the thousands, which was ridiculous. The judge denied that, which I think was a good thing, in the way, in my opinion. But yeah, apparently not everything was in Carrie Lake's favor. So now she's going to take this to the Supreme Court and try to make a case there. And already the critics are already saying that she needs to just give up, get over it. She lost and so forth. And there's no way it's going to work in the Supreme Court, which I would say, um, hold on, just wait a second. Last I checked, something similar like this happened in Arizona before, back in the year 1916, except it was the other way around when it came to political parties. But yes, at the same time, um, I may try to do more videos in Arizona. Um... But at the same time, given everything that uh, that's going on right now with Arizona, with you know the inauguration and Katie Hobbs laughing when asked to uphold the Constitution, there's that. But yeah, as a Supreme Court thing, um, I don't know. It said that, and that we may not know for months. But then again, who knows? It may be months before anything else pops up. But in the meantime. That's all I'm going to say for right now. This is Soldier 7. Thanks for listening.